British title, Lance Lewis. And in the blue corner, from Sweden, the Swedish and Scandinavian champion, Dennis Seeger. Britain versus Scandinavia, Lance Lewis versus Dennis Seeger. Round one. Okay, Lance Lewis, ex-professional boxer. Rank number three in Britain, rank number nine in the world. Actually he beat Ken Buchanan in one fight I saw him in. Ken at that time was getting near to the end of his career. Ken, who you know, used to be the world lightweight champion. And Lance's opponent there in the blue trousers, Dennis Seager. He's 23 years old. Comes from a town called Helsingborg in Sweden. Been in the game now for nine years. Trains at the Fox Institute in Malmo, Sweden, under Benny Headland, who's here this evening in his corner. He's ranked number one in Scandinavia. Actually beat the great Tekken Domez from the Chakariki Dojo in Amsterdam. In a, a kickboxing fight which allowed low kicks to the legs. His Domez is normally a, a Thai boxer. Lance there opening up on Seager. A rather long hair there for a fighter, Seager. I thought that would probably get in his way a little bit, but he's been in the game for a while, so I don't suppose he's too bothered by it. Okay, and that was a nice opening round. Neither fighter really really gaining too much of an advantage. Round two. Both very technical fighters, these two. Lance, as I said earlier, an ex-professional boxer, but when he's in the kickboxing ring, he says he likes to use his kicks. He's taken a few guys out with his kicks. So they obviously work for him as well as his punches do. There's a double roundhouse kick to the body of Seeger from Lewis. Roundhouse kick reply there from Seeger. Both these fighters in the lightweight division, very fast fighters, as you would expect in the lighter weights. And it's just ducking in there with an uppercut to the body. Seeger. Tending to backpedal rather a lot. And that's coming in there with a roundhouse kick and a hook kick, roundhouse kick combination there to the head of Seeger. Oh, and Seeger replies with a very, very powerful roundhouse kick that lands just ducks underneath of. Seager will be well disappointed about that kick. Round three. Oh, round three. Lance Lewis is one of the 
it Foo Fighters who wears his black karate belt in the ring. Earlier in kickboxing, most fighters used to do that, but nowadays the sport has moved away so far from karate that there's not so many of them that still do. thrown by Lance Lewis. Well, I think Lance is building up a steady lead here over Seager. The judges will be, will be rather more impressed by Lewis's constant, constantly coming forward on Seager. Seager just misses there with a spinning back kick to Lewis's body. It's his first fight in two years, this Lewis. His last fight he fought a, a Dutch guy who was a bit more of a punch back than anything else. Didn't really give Lance a very good fight. composed in his corner. There's his trainer there, Benny Headland. See, we jumped a couple of rounds here. Last two rounds were more or less even. Nothing particularly spectacular happened in them. Oh, and Lance moves in there with, with a good combination and catches Seeger with a, a right hook to the jaw. Seeger hangs on. Still hunting Seeger around the ring. He's done this almost all the way through the fight. Kept a good control of, of the whole fight so far. Seeger's a he's a tough spirited fighter, but I I don't think he's got the measure of Lance. Lance is a little bit too experienced for him. Oh and a good Jumping roundhouse kick there from Lance Lewis. Toby Mawashigeri for those of you who like the Japanese term for it. And Lance catches Seager there with a nice left hook. left uppercut from Lance Lewis to the draw and the left roundhouse kick from Lewis as well. As I said earlier, Lewis likes to show that he's a kicker when he's in the kickboxing ring and he's certainly doing so tonight. Must be somewhere around about 30 years of age now, Lewis, so... 
Final round. Oh, young guy. Round seven. So by any means. In the final round, Lewis opens up with a combination of kicks. And I think Lewis is looking to try to stop his opponent here now. He's dominated the fight so far. And I think he's looking for a, for a good finish. Seager, on the other hand, is still in there himself. He's come a long way for this fight and he's certainly given a good account of himself tonight. Lewis has aspirations for the, for the world kickboxing title. He'll be going forward later this year to fight Peter Cunningham, who is rated in the, the star system as the world champion. That won't be a championship fight, though. That's, that's just more or less a warm-up warm fight to a later one that he hopes to get. Jumping roundhouse kick there from Lewis. I think he's decided that he isn't going to be able to stop his man, so he's going to he's going to show himself good there, and that's the that's the final bell. Well, I don't think there'll be too much difficulty there for the judges to decide who's the winner of that fight. But it's a judge's decision, so we have to wait for it. Lance Lewis there, the winner, ladies and gentlemen. And for the loser, Dennis Seeger. And Dennis Seeger, a spirited fighter. Got a good account of himself there.